ready to uncover the secrets of all tricks data manipulation welcome to guide coachings where we embark on an exciting journey through the fundamentals of all tricks in this tutorial we are diving deep into three most important concepts of all tricks the first one is multi field formula tool how it is used when to use it then we will be exploring the art of filtering data how to use filters how can we use filter into all tricks then discovering seamless ways to retrieve data from all tricks these are the three important points which we are going to cover in this tutorial so stay tuned and if you have not subscribed us please do subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever i post a new video join us as we unlock the power of these essential tools and empower you to take your data analytic analytical skills to a next level okay let's get started so the first question first what is multi field formula so in this tutorial we are going to see what is multi field formula so uh, let's suppose when you want to do some operations on multi field we will uh, you know we have already seen how we can use formula but now if we want to implement the same type of logic onto two different things so in that situation we you know need to use two different uh, fi formulas so that is the older concept now if we want to apply the same type of logic to the two different fields why to use two things we can do it in one thing that is multi field formula okay so i'll go i'll quickly create a you know a data connection here i will put input data then i will connect it uh, with my sales data okay so this is my sales data here you can see on to the left hand side my sales data is available now if you see i have my sales quantity profit discount so now suppose i want i want my sales currency and my discount currency to be changed it is let's suppose when when basically when formula is used when you want to normalize the data sets okay let's suppose you are you know running your business in four different regions globally north south east west, east west and all the currencies are different four currencies are different now you need to normalize it into a one currency or you want to make it like you are running a business in in us and in india so us currency is dollars and indian currency is inr so you need to either you can make both your sales into inr or both your sales from india and us to usd so how we can do it we can use the the tool that is data preparation before data preparation uh, before you know uh, filtering out data we can just simply select a sample okay uh, sam not the sample we will use the select where is select 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 yeah here it is so i'll just keep it here i'll just put it over here so select is over here now i'll delete this i don't need this so i'll go here i'll click on select what i we i want i don't want everything i just want my uh, sales and profit data so i'll just select these two okay i'll just uh, no i can change the data type if i wanted i can change it to double and i will change it to double okay now my data is ready now what i will do i will select this multi field okay multi field formula so I, as in when i select and drop it over here i'll get the option i can select the numeric options i can select the date time so if i'm selecting numeric uh, you can see uh, i'm getting sales and profit and dynamic value so i will select these two okay quickly and then uh, output field add and uh, if i want to add, give a name it will be given as a prefix if i want to give as a post suffix so suffix will also work okay so now uh, here i have uh, three options variables functions and saved expression so in variables i have three options available current fields original fields and constraints so in current fields i have one two three options current field current field name field type okay now in functions i have these many functions available over here conditional conversion date time so we'll see all these but basically i'll create a simple format for you so here i am selecting i just need to click double click on this current field i'll do it and then if i i just want it to be normalized into 
into one currency so le maybe let's say i want it to multiply by 90 my sales and profit has to be in same currency so i'm just multiplying both by 90 so now what will happen sales a new column will be created with new sales as a prefix and a profit new sales will be a new column will be created so now i will what i will do i'll go to my favorite i'll drag browse over here and i'll just hit on run okay hit and run so once i do that you can see my sales or older sales was 16.45 and profit was 5.55 now after this multi field what happened is multiplied by 90 so if i want to make it more easy for you i'll just make it 100 or i just make it 10 so it will be easy for you to understand what exactly is happening over here okay so now you see if i run it will get the values as 16.45 to 165.5 and 5.55 converted it to 55 that is how you can use uh, you can also use formula over here but formula will be applied for one column at a time and then you can do it so basically we will use uh, some you know multi calculated field to overcome this okay uh, there are certain more you know definitely are more options available we will be exploring them uh, as we move ahead and we'll see how these options work so basically you can you know just try this and check it out you can check it for date and time you can go to functions you can select the date time and you can you know select date time add date difference if you want to select the date difference you can select the difference over here now dt1 is your date 1 dt2 is your date 2 and u is your uh, let's say it, how you, you want it the difference in so you want it in days months you just need to put it in double quotes okay now uh, moving on to our next question for today that is how to use filters now filter is again a very important point which is used most of the time where you have you know uh, where you want to check the true results or false results so assume a situation where you have order date and ship date okay so order date will always be greater so like if i am ordering on 1st of january it's not possible that i will get on 31st of december it will be always the greater than the order date okay so if you want to find out that is there any records is there any record of where order date order date 31st of january is less than the delivery date or the ship date so we are checking if we want to check a huge data at that time so in that situation what we will be doing uh, we will be going over here we have these data okay we have the data over here so what i will do i'll uncheck all these things i will just select order date and select date uh, order date okay i will do selected date over here date over here okay now now i have date here i'll just delete it okay so now uh, what i want i want to filter it out so i'll you know this is the option which is available so you can read about it you can get the example of it how filter works so basically we'll see the practical example of it okay just give me a second the system is a bit slow i'll just click back i'll go to filters i'll select it drop it over here as i put it over here i'll get the options to select it out so basic filter if i want to apply i can apply basic filter as well you see why it is giving me this because of the select tool so this is the importance of select tool you every for every data by default when when data comes we know that every data will be have uh, vw vw string so we want to convert it into data type uh, into date so that conversion needs select now uh, i have selected that now i what i will do i order date is i will just put uh, order date greater than fixed today's date yesterday's date whatever i want you i know i can select it over here if i want to custom filter i can do that as well i will you know have to give it over here just 
so what i will do i'll just click on fx function as i click on it i'll get the options the number of options available so i will go to uh, date time you can see these are the functions available over here i'll go to conditional and i can select it from here so here what i want to do uh, if order date order date is greater than so but for that i will need a function to verify because comparison between dates because date have day month year three values now if you are if you want to convert you know compare it on the basis of day you need a different function like you will need a function to distinguish between these three things okay so for that we will be using date diff okay there is a function date diff we will be using dt1 as i mentioned so we'll be using order date okay we can use order date and this dt2 is your ship date okay so ship date will select now this u i will put it over here as day i just want the difference in days and when then uh, it is true i want it to be printed as uh, mm -mm -mm, order date yeah else ship date okay this is how i want it it to be displayed i'll and you can see it is giving me this filter is giving me two results the true one and the false one so whatever the false result is if the date if the order date is less than the ship date then it will give me the false record ideally it should not give okay so if i execute it uh, there is a conversion uh, issue over here uh, so what I will do I'll just simply use this basic one I'll just select the order date greater than and then I will use today's date okay and then I will click on this and I will run it so uh, what is happening now okay so these are the order date and shift it just give me a second order date and now i'll click over here i will click on this so it is giving me order date ship date is not a valid date yeah because 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 uh this this date format so i will go here and you now we need to do the formulation over here so we need to add date parse over here yeah see here we can you know parse a date we'll put parse date string to date i will just put it aside okay this side i either okay just give me a second i'll delete this i'll delete this from here and i will add date parse so i will just drag it out here i will put my date in here in between i'll delete this okay now i can parse it so for parsing i'll click on it and uh, you know i can select the order date string to date and this format over here right here is you can see the format it is month it is month day month day okay so month is month and day okay so i've selected that and i'll click on run over here once that is done i'll connect this with this okay and now you can see the results of it so i'll click on run i'll click on run and it will give me the dates okay so it is invalid date now we will be changing it okay so we'll be changing the dates from here we will be selecting the month okay month day month day year now i'll click okay run alrighty then we'll select the second one i have created it i'm not sure why it is happening so we'll see that later but here if you see this is my filter which i have applied so this is my date filter which i have used to convert the date okay then this is my calculation uh, this is my select option which i have selected over here and this is my filter which i have applied over here so order date equals to ship date now i am checking that so it will give me zero results because uh, ideally it will not you know give a result to you for 
uh, ship date or the order date is less than the ship date okay so 1st january and 31st of december as a ship date so all the records will come into here and you can see the results over here okay that is how you can use filter basically filter is used for selecting true and false data in in your records okay now quickly moving on to the next question for today is how to move data within alteryx and outside the alteryx so it is a very simple thing okay uh, i will you know just show you how it is done i'll just close it i will you know uh, this is my data basically so or we'll use the other one okay we'll use this one uh, yeah so this is already the data which uh, we wanted so see here i have a data all the records i just want only three records so i will just unselect everything i'll just select order date ship date and sales okay these are the three things which i wanted so i'll just put these three things together now i will delete this i don't want this okay so i want from a huge data set i just want three columns to be created and i want it to be saved into some other values so for that i will be using this output data once i put it over here it will give me option to set up a connection so i will click on that and i will you know click on csv file i just want to create a csv file i uh, want it to be processed data okay so this is the previous one which is which i have created now i have created one more uh, data okay so now i'll click on save yes i want to replace it so it is loading and once that is done it i'll go over here i'll go to all tricks i will open it and i will go to my product data i believe yeah so here is the file which is been created so now we will open it open the file and we'll see how many columns ideally it should have three columns order date ship date and sales data yeah uh, order date uh, sorry order id ship order id ship date and your order date these are the values which are present present over here so this is how we can use it this is how we can do the manipulation take file use data connection okay i don't want it okay disable tool enable tool okay so uh, this is basically how we can connect the file we can take the data out of it okay we can save it and you can check it out over here for the latest data okay so uh, i hope this you uh, know uh, you are able to understand what exactly we are talking over here and how things you know working in it okay so if you uh, that's all for today if you have any questions any queries or any question uh, doubts regarding the topic which we have covered today you can write me a comment and we will be discussing it into our next session that's all for today thank you